Hey guys, so I'm a bit sick. You can tell my voice is kind of off, but I had some time today and I have not put a lot of time into things that I want to do and I'm passionate about in a while. I've had a job that stopped me from doing that, not anything against the job. I just, I feel like I need to get back to center since the new year is here. Everyone loves to hear that new year, new me, but not a new me, same old me, but trying to do things that I love more often. Um, my light behind me is supposed to be um, softened. There's a ring that softens it, but I got pissed one day and I threw it on the ground and broke it. So I might be blind after this video. Just consider that when you're watching this. Um, I'm going to do a, sh I say short, don't know if it's going to be short, probably not, but, um, I'm going to do a makeup tutorial. Um, something that's really important to me, my parents always told me when I was a kid that, you know, you are beautiful and you need to accentuate what you have and not try to add more. Now, I realize that whatever anyone needs to feel confident, that's perfect for them. I just always have leaned more towards natural beauty instead of full glam makeup. I just really want to enhance what I already have. So since my skin's doing better, I've always had skin problems, but I found a skincare routine that really works for me and I'm I'm really happy that I get to do the natural makeup that I want to instead of having to have a lot of coverage, which there's nothing wrong with that. You can still make makeup look natural with coverage. So I'm just going to begin um, by using the antioxidant uh, dew drops by Kypris. I got that in my BoxyCharm and I absolutely love it. So just do a few drops. I kind of use this as a primer. I've gotten away from primers too. Anything that makes my face more cakey, I don't want. I want as close to skin as possible. You know, there's so many things. People seem amazing and beautiful and gorgeous, but everyone looks in the mirror and is found wanting. Every single person. I wish my nose was thinner. I really do. I wish my nose was thinner and I wish that I had more hair and you can buy hair if you want, which I've done, but in the, at the end of the day, you are you and you are beautiful if you feel like you are. And so I just, I think that we should all just try to enhance what we're already given and feel beautiful if that's possible. Some people it's not just because Everyone has different opinions and is harder on themselves in some way. I'm going to stop rambling now. Okay, so I've used the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Um, this is by Charlotte Tilbury. I really like something that gives me a natural glow. Because if you have a good skin texture at the moment... Really, a glow is like 50% of what you need to get going. Okay. See, that just gives you a really nice glow. Natural. All right. So, cheaper option. If, you, if you're in a pinch and you just want to get it from the drugstore, this stuff, the um, L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion, same effect, same color even. So it's like $10. All right, so I'm going to get out my foundation, which I'm gonna have to mix too. I've used these before. I have another foundation that I really like, but um, <clears throat> it's in the car, so I'm not gonna go get it. I've been traveling a lot lately, so. Um, I'm just going to use some good old Fatefuls. This one you can see has had a lot of love. Um, this one's a little dark for me, but I love this color and I would not trade it. Uh, it's Shell. It's the Hourglass Vanishing Stick. So I'm just going to just seriously do like the smallest amount. Okay. And then I'm going to add just a bit pinch of that in every section too. Okay, so 
been using this big weird brush not sure oh it's a boxycharm brush apparently boxycharm is totally worth it people hundred dollars worth of products twenty one dollars i think amazing i don't even do the lexi one i just do the regular one so i'm just gonna get that all and like i said i have such minimal coverage right now you can do minimal coverage and then just uh, conceal your spots if you have spots on your face that you don't feel comfortable. I don't even use concealer anymore. I used to be big on concealer. I just, I stopped doing that. I will say that I like to have a little coverage on my eyes just because they t do tend to look a little red. All right, so I'm gonna dim this light a little bit because it's kind of blinding. And now it's not wanting to, of course. Um, there we go, that's better. Okay, so then just get your hands in there because your skin warms the makeup and blends it a lot better, especially if you're doing minimal coverage. If you're doing full coverage and your foundation moves a lot, you might not want to do that because it's going to move around everywhere. Let me just check this. I do have two spots I see under my nose. My nose gets really red. Just kind of blend those in with my finger. See what I'm talking about right there. Okay. Okay, otherwise, looking pretty good. Okay. Okay, so now that I have that on, I'm going to go ahead and throw on some, um, some contour. Um, this is the Kim K um, one from Ulta. I just like to throw a little on just in the necessary spots. Again, not using enough to give you that cakey line. I a lot of girls are a fan of the the dark line, and I'm just not. I just want a shadow, really. I just I'm trying to trick the light. That's all I'm trying to do. I don't want there to be an obvious contour line, and that looks pretty natural to say. Gotta blend a little more right there. There we go. Just make sure you get it all blended. That's, that's the magic. Okay. And then you can't hurt to go in with your beauty blender and just soften all of that. Like I said, your hand warms it. So now I'm going to go in with, where is it? Oh, come on. I know I grabbed it. Just don't know where it is. There it is. Some of the milk. Um, it's like a cream blush. Just kind of get my fingers in there. Just get a healthy amount there. Um, blush does tend to dissipate. <laughs> You'll find at the end of the day your blush is not there. So this blush, um, the fact that it's cream, it really like it's hard to move around. You have to it sticks to your face. So it's nice to have that because it does not dissipate. It stays put. 
and I love blush. I've always loved blush. Not enough to look like a clown or anything, just a little, just a little bit on the nose too. All right, look nice and sunned. Okay, now that that's done, gonna go ahead and go in with this uh, KKW highlighter. <clears throat> this one's nice because it has a highlighter on one side and then concealer on the other side. So if you do want to conceal, this is very subtle. Obviously, you will create lines when you apply, so you have to blend that. I like a little bit on the nose, not too much. Just look like I get some sun, which I don't. Okay. <clears throat> Looking nice and glowy there. Okay. So, <clears throat> moving on, gonna go ahead and throw a little powdered contour over what I've applied I'm using this like beat down, half broken palette that I got in BoxyCharm. Once again, just using a cool um, tan, I guess, a cool taupe color. Just gonna put a little powder on that so that we can <clears throat> give it some set. Give it some set. That's a thing. Set it. All right, on to brows. <clears throat> if you have a good shape, I do have a good shape. Uh, I do need extensions on both sides. Unfortunately, if you have to extend the front, it's going to look less natural. That's just a fact of life. Um, the back, you can get away with extending it without any issues. The fact that I can't really see up close in this phone is going to be a problem. So. I will make sure you guys can see it, but I'm going to look in a mirror so that I don't look crazy. I really just give the lightest coverage. And I do notice that sometimes when I go out, I do want more coverage. So I have a brow gel that I use and it is tinted. I will throw that on. Really, it's just about the upward strokes at the end of your brow if you are adding to the front. Gentle strokes upward. You just want it to look like there's hair there. That's the, if only you could do that to your hair, right? Just draw some lines. Okay, that brow's done. See how fast that was? Super fast and easy. Not a heavy hand, heavy handed handedness is where the horrible, thick, disgusting brows come from. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to put anyone down, but it is not a good look for anyone. And I had some chunky brows back when I was learning to do my makeup. Less is more people, less is more. Give yourself see the lines causing like a hair look to it and then just adding a little to the arch and tail depending on the need I really just add enough to make it look natural to me dark brows are overrated I just want to look like I have some hair okay done super fast super easy I like to brush through it one more time to get the product everywhere, all nice and blended. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I use the Wiz. I did try the definer. I like it. It's a little thicker though, so it's harder to harder to draw with. If you're going for the hair look at the front, you might not want the definer because it's thicker, so you can't get the fine hairs with it. I have fine hair, so it makes sense for me. 
to have the Wiz. Okay, so now I'm using my Givenchy Brow Gel, which I always use because it's 100% one of my favorite products of all time. I love my brows and to give them that beautiful brushed look just makes me happy. <clears throat> my brows have always been a defining thing for me, so. Okay, now that I'm done with my brows, I'm going to do the very least that I possibly can on my eyes. Um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna take some of this uh, cream contour, put it on, just trying to get it mainly on the crease. You can see it looks like a mess, but it won't. Okay, so once I get that down, just going to pull out my handy dandy mirror and just mix that, well, blend that rather, just to give the corner of my eye some definition. <clears throat> then I'm gonna take telling you these things worth it and they don't have to be the Kim K brand but I found that these weren't very expensive so relatively inexpensive many uses you got me so I'm going to go ahead and throw some of the highlighter on my lid anyone who does a minimalistic makeup look goes this route with their eye makeup because it's so simple and it's very beautiful, very natural. I'm going to go ahead and throw a curl on my lashes. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara. Using the um, Big Ego Mascara um, by Too Faced, I believe. The brand has worn off. I never do fake lashes. I always just give my lashes as much as I can give them without them looking cakey at all. I don't want lashes that are just staining on their end where you can tell that I've used so much product. And then normally I'll just add some lashes onto my photo uh, with my photo editor last minute. Because to me, lashes do look beautiful. If you can add some that look natural, perfect. Lash lifts are amazing. I love them. I can't get them all the time because they scare the shit out of me. Lash extensions are a little much for me. I just don't like that look. Not that I don't like it on others. I just don't like it on myself. I don't want like gigantic mink lashes or even gigantic lashes at all. I want everything in proportion with everything else. So we've got our base, we've got our eyes and everything. Um, lastly, I was going to do a little um, lipstick. I was, I bought that Hollywood filter and I was given this um, little trial, not trial, it's like a little, what is the word I'm looking for here? Anyways, sample, that's the word, <laughs> the word is simple. Um, and I'm gonna do the red one, the red carpet red, but first I'm gonna lay down a base with this little Tom Ford mini. I don't buy red very often, it's not my color, um, it's, it's very beautiful with a not, no makeup makeup look though. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this. It's very creamy. And then I'm going to go in with the Red Carpet Red Matte Revolution by Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know what color this is. I have never used it. Oh, it's a nice cherry red. Maybe a little more. Obviously, you can get a more bitten look, a more um, natural look if you apply it with your finger. 
So I'm really happy to have had that trial. Why do I keep saying that? The sample, because I can apply it myself and it looks better with this look. Okay, done with that, done with all my face. I can't imagine that if I wasn't filming this and talking through it, that it would take more than five minutes to do that whole thing. Maybe six. Um, I normally put this uh, lip mask on my lips while I'm doing my makeup. Uh, it really helps, I love it. Uh, I did not today because I forgot and I was blabbing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out my headband. This is the finished look. You can pop on a hat because hats are amazing and they can cause you to look like you have put in effort when you have not. Here we go, people, finished look. Let me get these hairs down in front so it doesn't look like I'm bald. There you go. Dewy, bright. Uh, this is a very romantic look. I feel like uh, it's very Emma Watson. Um, like I said, super easy to achieve. My hair's greasy. I'm just, you know, around the house today. So it's something that doesn't require effort. Throw in a hat, like I said. Don't even do your hair. You're good to go. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you appreciate your natural beauty and always accentuate it without going too far.